Airbus A330neo versus Boeing 787. 787 was launched in 2004 as Boeing's response to the A330 in the lower end of the medium-sized white body market. Boeing aimed to replace the A330 with a newer, true new next generation aircraft with brand new technologies that could fly further distances, faster and more efficiently than ever before. With its longer range, Boeing believed in a point-to-point -point model. Smaller white bodies going further distances straight to their final destination, avoiding hub airports altogether. The 77 was launched in 2004 and Airbus decided against responding to it initially. They believed it's just a simple rubber band response to the A330. Airlines, however, urged Airbus to do otherwise. Eventually, pushed by customer demands, Airbus decided to launch an all-new white body, the A350XWB. However, this story was again slightly weird. The larger versions of the A350XWB, the Dash 900 and Dash 1000, the more popular versions, were really targeted at the 777-200 and 300 market as they were bigger and did not really compare directly with the smaller 787. There were supposed however to be three versions of the 7 of the 8350. The Dash 800 was never introduced. It was too big and too inefficient to compete with the hugely efficient 787-9. That left Airbus with a gaping hole at the 787 end of the widebody market. In 2010 though, Airbus was working on another new program, the A320neo program. By re-engineering aircraft, Airbus discovered they could bring the same new levels of efficiency without the need to launch a new aircraft program and maintaining most parts with the same pilots flying them both. Pushed by customer demand, Airbus eventually decided to launch the A330neo in 2014, taking the success the A320neo had and applying it to a larger widebody airframe. The A330neo was launched at the Farnborough Air Show in 2014, but between a re-engine of a hugely successful workhorse to a brand new comer of a 787, which is better. Before we find out, if you're new here, a warm welcome and be sure to subscribe for more great videos on the way. Performance the A330-800neo flies 257 3 class to 8150 nautical miles. The Dash 900 carries 287 3 class to 7200 nautical miles. These are for the new 251-ton variants. In terms of the 787 family, we'll compare the Dash 8 with the Dash 9 since they are the closest. The Dash 10 is really going after the A350-900 regional. And you can check that video out in a pop-up banner appearing somewhere up there now. The 787-8 flies 242 2 class to 7,355 nautical miles or the Dash 9 carries 296 2 class to 7,635 nautical miles. So all in all, in terms of the smaller variants, the A330neo has more range and more seats. But in terms of the larger variants, the gap is really close with the 787-9 having the legs in range. Engines. The A330neo uses the Rolls-Royce Trent 7000 with up to 72,834 pounds of thrust each. The Trent 7000 engine is a derivative of the Trent 1000 T and powering existing 787 variants. The 787-8 and Dash 9 both use the Rolls-Royce Trent 1000 T and with up to 64,000 pounds for the Dash 8 and 71,000 pounds for the Dash 9. The 787 is also available with the new GE NX1V. These new generation engines have larger fans hands higher bypass to reduce their fuel burn by around 10%. Efficiency, and this is the main selling point of these two next generation Airbus and Boeing white bodies. 787-8 is around 1.2% more efficient per trip, while the A330-800 is around 0.07% more efficient per seat. The 787-9 is around 1.5% more efficient per trip, while the A330-900 is around 0.04% more efficient per seat. The 787-8 burns around 5.38 kg per kilometer and around 2.77 liters per 100 kilometers in a two-class layout over around 4,650 nautical miles. The Dash 9 burns around 5.85 kg per kilometer and burns around 2.49 liters per 100 kilometers for the same mission. The A330-800 burns around 5.45 kilograms per kilometer, but thanks to additional seats, 
burns only 2.75 liters per 100 kilometers. The A330-900 burns 5.94 kilograms per kilometer, but again, thanks to the additional seats, around 2.48 liters per 100 kilometers. Lots of numbers, but basically the 787 is more efficient per trip, shockingly, though the A330neo is more efficient per seat due to the additional seats. Cabin The A330neo has the airspace cabin. With the larger overhead bins, new welcome effect, new mood lighting, latest Wi-Fi with IFE, and a new ice cabin layout allowing more seats with larger galleys, it's a stunning new cabin inspired from the A350. A330 Neo also has a much-loved Aterbrass 2x4x2 seating economy class with 18-inch wide seats. However, it has smaller windows, lower ceilings, giving a less spacious feel, while it has higher cabin altitude with lower cabin pressure, plus the air is more more dry. The 787 features the new Boeing Sky interior, with higher ceilings, larger curved overhead bins, and new mood lighting giving a more spacious feel than the A330 Neo. It also has higher cabin pressure with lower cabin altitude and more moist air. It also has larger windows which dim at the touch of a button. Although controversial, I personally love these windows as it allows you to look out of the window even though it's fully shaded. However, caveat comes in the economy section. Due to the 9 abreast seating layout, it has cramped 17 inch wide white seats at best. So all in all, the A330neo may offer more space to each and every single passenger, but in terms of the overall cabin, I reckon the 787 is a nicer environment to be in when flying these longer 14-15 hour missions. Advantages and disadvantages The A330neo is more efficient, cheaper for shorter regional routes as well. Also, it has lower maintenance costs since most airframe parts are common with today's existing A330s, and pilots need not be retrained to fly on the A330neo since they have the same type rating, plus it has a common type rating with the larger A350. The 787 also has commonality with the 777X, but not the 767. It has more performance though, and is more efficient on routes beyond around say 6,000 nautical miles, meaning longer missions. However, its maintenance cost is higher and has a more cramped economy class cabin section. Orders The A330-800 has received 15, while the Dash 900, an impressive 316. The 787-8 has received 422, while the Dash 9 has received around 880. To be fair, we should also include the A330neo given Airbus continued to sell the A330neo throughout the lifespan of the 787 program, but for the sake of this comparison, we keep it to Neo and Dreamliner only. So what's the overall verdict? Well, the A330neo is a solid upgrade, built upon the reputation of the hugely successful A330 family and is more efficient and cheaper overall for shorter routes, given that Airbus will be willing to offer huge discounts for the A330. However, if Boeing is willing to offer 787s at the same price, I reckon it's the one I put my money on. 787 is more efficient on longer routes, is more capable with more range and opens up a whole new range of market opportunities. All in all, it's the medium-sized white body and the A330 of the future. Thanks for tuning in and until we meet next time, one team, one aviation, one sky ahead.